I'm a long way from home. Where's home? And if you don't like me, just leave me at home. No, I you're leave fine, when I'm hungry, <laughs> and I'll drink when I'm dry. And if the world don't kill me, I live till I die. Uh, my name is Barbara Morgan Stewart, and I've been a street pastor since 2009 when we started. I first got interested in street pastoring when a speaker came to our church and spoke about it and it just jumped out at me. I thought, this is something I'd like to do. I've lived in Luton since 2003, but I've actually worked in London. So doing street pastoring gave me a chance to sort of give something back to my community, give me a chance to meet the people and to understand a little bit about what happens, especially in nightlife in Luton. We come out at night and we care for people irrespective of who they are colour, creed, nationality. We just listen to their needs. Some people, they're homeless, some probably needs food. Some people just want somebody to talk to. Some probably need direction or they need information on facilities that are available to them. And sometimes they just need somebody to just to talk to them and to give them a perspective on life. Our team is made up of members from different churches throughout Luton. And we come together and we work together, taking a bit of out what's in the church, out into the community. Most people see churches as somewhere where you just go and sit, but we believe that as Christians, we are supposed to let the beauty of Jesus be seen in us, and we're supposed to care for people just as Jesus did. A coffee, that's not food though, is it? A bit of coffee. Have you eaten today? Do you think I'm Well, you should do really. At 61, you still need filling with food. Hi, I'm Marsha. I work for Luton Street Pastors. Um, I've just come across this lovely young gentleman who's uh, clearly had maybe a little bit too much celebratory drink today. And uh, he's, he's just really looking for a bit of company, somebody to chat to, and uh, he'll be off home in a little while and uh, get himself something to eat. We had a young lady who um, was being what appeared to be escorted by um, a couple of gentlemen who had, um, they seemed to be gripping her arms quite tightly and she appeared to be quite upset. So we approached her and had a little chat and I shook hands with the gentleman and spoke to him and just basically introduced myself, told him who we are and why we were walking around. And he wasn't very happy with us talking to her and so we just stayed with the lady for a little while and the gentleman walked off and after some time of talking to this lady it was quite apparent that actually what was happening is she was actually being um, engrossed um, in, in a situation that she really didn't want to be in. We stayed talking to the lady and thankfully I think the gentleman realised that he really wasn't on for a win that particular night and so um, we walked the lady off and we got her in a taxi and sent her home um, and that is what we're here to do to make sure everybody has a nice safe night to make sure that um, no harm comes to anyone and that there are people out there that are very vulnerable and you just don't always see that um, particularly ladies um, and as it turns out she really was in a very difficult situation and it happened again later to somebody else. So, you know, we managed to get that lady off and get her safe, and that's what we're here to do. Yo. Oh, it's the like of my life. Yo, Hello, brother. Jimmy. Oh, oh, oh. It's the man Yo, of my dreams. Brother. I thought Barbara was the woman of your dreams. <laughs> Barbara, you're losing your man, my love. <laughs> See, look, you ditched me for a woman two minutes ago, look. Yeah, well, Go back to your fancy you. woman. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, yeah? Yeah, yeah, already. <laughs> Go, <Great. laughs>